Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube. I'm so excited. Like, I, never in a million years did I think that I'll be doing a YouTube channel and speaking to you guys. I yeah, I'm really excited to tell you what this is about, what my channel is going to be about, and give you a little bit of a lowdown. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. So here's a little blurb about me. I've been doing performing arts all my life, dancing, acting, singing, not so much. I was musical theatre at college. More, I was more like a street hip hop, but for some reason I just, I just wanted to do musical theatre. I thought that was a place I wanted to go down, done an audition didn't like it out of my depth and I also am um, very much into fashion I done styling and um, I was a visual merchandiser so yeah I've done a lot I'm very creative more creative than academic don't talk to me about maths can't stand it count on my fingers still I'm not a person to sit down in an office job that is just not me I can't do the same thing in and out the same day same thing same day you know what i mean i got into a little thing called fittings modeling which is my channel is going to be mostly about so fittings modeling is basically i try on clothes for a living before they go into the shops for you guys like it is such an amazing job but yeah i want this channel to be all about body positivity um, just to make you feel good about yourself and why clothes don't fit the way they should in some shops like why necessarily things yeah don't fit there's so many reasons yeah so this is just going to touch the basics of it and then each video i'm, I'm going to give you tips tricks i'm going to take you on a, le a week with me when people ask me like what is it like i didn't know it was a job i literally was on an acting job with a girl she told me about it and i was like what this is this sounds like me i love stuff like this it's not a job for everyone in terms of like your body has to be in like a certain proportion for a certain size so i am a size 12 fittings model so i will show you my body size 12 was always plugged into me and probably you guys growing up that it was big plus size it it just wasn't healthy but i can assure you size 12 is very much healthy it's a very popular size, so I don't want anyone to feel like, um, like whatever size you are, I don't want you to feel unconscious about yourself. Unconscious? Don't want people to hide that here, okay? Conscious about yourself, not unconscious, hopefully. Hopefully you're all alright. You need to know the fashion industry and what I have to do as a job, because if I didn't do this as a job, I wouldn't be as positive of my body as I am kind of thing I used to wear size sort of size 8 to 10 growing up like I, I was a dancer so like I was literally dancing full time and obviously I stopped as you get older your body changes didn't really see it as such I wouldn't say like I went oh my god like I've put on weight I just naturally sort of lost my toneness and stuff so I went for a casting and they measured me and I measured a size 12 and I come out and I um got the job straight away and I was like I've never been a size 12 like what what's going on like I'm really I was really freaking out because I was like I've just got my first job I don't really know too much I've done fittings in terms of like growing up doing fashion shows and stuff so we had to do fittings for that yeah i was i was really quite disheartened because i was like i've never worn size 12 clothes and i don't want to tell people that i'm a size 12 and i was like why like now i think back to it i'm like why why was that why didn't i let people know because it's because of the social media and the media portraying it is that it wasn't a positive do you know what i mean i don't know why i'm getting emotional oh why am i getting emotional for i just feel like it's been a journey and i want you guys to come on my journey with me i think i'm tired that's why i'm getting emotional i feel yeah <laughs> give me one second i am also a gymnast teacher so that is that is my life at the minute obviously pre-covid i was doing fittings full time then i lost all my work because of obviously with fittings they have to come up close and personal to you let's get to the basic pre-covid i was fitting for a lot of clients and then i lost all my work um through covid unfortunately now back to one of my clients and i obviously do my gymnast teaching part-time as well because obviously self-employed life in uh, when covid happened wasn't fantastic so you had to think of other options and obviously yeah i, I love gymnastics and the job that's 
it's great so every shop has a customer demographic okay so it depends like say for instance top shop or river island and new look and stuff like that they will have a set customer which like buys that certain size the most popular size for instance that will determine what size is their fitting tent so what size fittings model they need to fit on and then i'll speak about other sizes how they do the other sizes in a minute so for a size 12 um i'm gonna get me to tape measure i feel like blue peter whipped one up earlier this is one of the reasons one of the many reasons why sizes vary from shop to shop so i'll start it one of my clients pre-covid started as a 73 centimeter waist for a size 12 that is like the smallest you'll go for a size 12 which is a 29 cent 29 inches it's all done in centimeters just because it's easier to work with and then their bust was 94 centimeters i'm about a 93 94 centimeters which is a uh, 37 inches then the hips was 99 i'm a little bit over on the hips um hips is 101 and the fire was 59 i think and i'm a little bit over on the fire i'm like 61 centimeters they normally measure here bust waist hips are like the points and then they'll do your biceps and stuff like that so yeah that was one of my clients then this is where I, so they would fit that's a so i would say that is a small size 12 the customer demographic was probably like a little bit younger then i would fit at another client on another day which was a bigger size 12 okay so their customer demographic was like an older customer let's say their size 12 was a little bit bigger because obviously as you get older you use loose you lose that sort of toneness of your body obviously after having kids and stuff like that obviously people bounce back which is absolutely amazing but obviously naturally you do so their waist was a 76 centimeters waist so on that day i would eat normally about 74 but i would normally eat about a good breakfast do you know what i mean to get my waist up to it. obviously you allow to, sort of two centimeters two to three centimeters each way yeah just to obviously you've got to keep in that certain frame then their hips was i think their hips was a hundred so that was more closer to mine their fire was the same so that is one of the reasons why a size 12 differs from one shop to another and you're probably might be thinking well i'm not I'm not a size 12 you might not be a size 12 how does this how does this impact other sizes so say for instance hopefully i've not lost you uh, so say for instance to my um, smaller size 12 clients which is a 73 centimeter waist normally so if they fit in on a size 12 normally the grading which is the grading of the sizes up and down is by two centimeters but it depends on the grading it depends on what you're fitting but i'll get into that on another video i just want you to understand why predominantly different shops have like sort of different sizes kind of thing so do you see what i hopefully you'll see what i'm getting at so it all depends on um what the grading is and like obviously what their customer demographic is to start with so that is one of the many reasons fittings modeling they start from a size 8 and they fit onto a size like 24 depending on what client they are and what their customer demographic is and if they're doing plus size if they're doing like a small size obviously it's normally like the higher end clients that are normally having the smaller sizes there is like a few high end clients that do fit on a size 10 12 blah 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 every size is needed everybody's needed as each video goes on i want to talk to you about other reasons other factors why things don't necessarily fit the way like on you yeah so i am going to get changed into my leggings and a top and show you guys what a size 12 body looks like and just go through some little basics so i just want to show you what a size 12 body looks like perfectly healthy perfectly normal and I'll talk to you about my diet another time. I think I'm gonna have to do some like trying tasting videos on here as well. So when you get measured, you're normally in black leggings, but I just can't seem to find my black leggings. So this is me, size 12, perfectly normal. Like so. You get measured, they'll measure you obviously 
tape, tape measure measure it's kind of everywhere they normally even stick some dots on you to get the right measurement obviously we all we all are not the same i don't want you to think well oh my god my body's not like that it's honestly it's fine yeah i just want you to be like oh okay that is why i'm not fitting in this top because of the customer demographic is probably a little bit older in this shop so it's probably the sizings are a little bit bigger so that's fine kind of thing or it's a little bit smaller that's fine the customer demographic is probably a little bit smaller do, do you know what i mean like i just want you to have guys to understand so yeah doing this job obviously like i said not everyone can do it um it's very you have to be in proportions oh yeah it did look dance Woo. you have to stay in like certain measurements obviously you don't really change from week to week my diet is so poor but we'll speak about that another time you should find out some hilarious things about your body i have two centimeters short arms than the average joe but you wouldn't really think that would you but in the fitting world oh my god it makes a massive difference <laughs> I remember when I was at my other clients, oh, they used to tease me and used to call me T-Rex. Like, literally, I was like, he's going like, come out. It's all fun and games. Like, I remember when I first started here, like this job, yeah. I, I, they speak about you like you're not there, but you're there in the room. They speak about your body. So you've got to have quite a strong-minded persona anyway. So everything fits to my knuckles. That is where, like, a normal average arm length is on a normal person when it will be about here so it's like roughly two centimeters below so as you know my thighs and bum are a little bit over size 12 measurements um i can't get these down i've tried it's like it's hard because some of the clients are like oh can you can you please work on your thighs can you get them down like i remember I was in my head let me come back to you my clients were just like you need to get your fires down i was thinking i can't get them down like that's just naturally how i am i tried like just doing loads of stuff and it just didn't work then i was worried that i was going to lose my job so yeah that's kind of the other side to it um because i was kind of freaking out but i was just like this this is just this is just but i'm very very grateful for this job i am very grateful because that's what pays very well to try on clothes all day you get paid fantastic in each client as well it depends on like they could be having you for full days they could be having you for half a days um, so the agents that i'm with like work out how much money i'll be getting or have come on here and just let you guys know what goes on with the fashion world what goes on for fittings behind the scenes before it goes into the shops and um, yeah because i just want to to make you guys feel comfortable in the body you're in praise your body because it is such a beautiful beautiful thing you have it just for me i don't know i'm getting emotional again because i just i just want everyone to feel happy in themselves and um it's a journey i know it is a journey it has been for me as well um but yeah i just wanted to sort of spread positivity and my next video is going to be a week in the life of a fittings model. I can obviously take you with me and explain what I do and stuff like that. So hopefully I can get some like, really good footage for you. Feel good about themselves and like, obviously we've all got hung ups and stuff like that about bodies and stuff like that. But <clears throat> I just want to help you work towards loving yourself and feeling great about yourself. Uh, feeling great about your body and why stuff doesn't always fit you correctly because there is many reasons why this happens hope you've really enjoyed this video and i hope you've like taken away something from it so i'm sitting here freezing uh, that you've learned from and i will see you next video and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you soon